This is a quick start video on how to send your first email marketing campaign through One in One Mail. First, after you install One in One Mail on your Windows PC, double click the One in One Mail button on your desktop. The first time you start the software, it will prompt you to create an email account, which can be either your corporate email address or one set up through one of the free services such as Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo Mail. In the Multi Account Manager window, click Add to add your first email account. Enter your email address, password, account name, and sender's name. The account name is for one in one mail to connect and log into your email account to send emails. The sender's name is the name recipients see in their inbox when an email is sent from you. In the next window, click Advanced to set up the SMTP connection of your email account. One in one mail presents some of the most commonly used SMTP server addresses and port numbers for you. If you are not sure about these settings, please ask your email service provider or you can find the most commonly used settings on the one in one mail website. In the Sending Policy tab, you can control how fast one in one mail should send out emails and how many emails it can send out within a day. To play it safe, we advise new users to send fewer emails per day. After you have established a good reputation with your email service provider, you can certainly increase the frequency and number of emails you send out. After you complete the sending policy, click OK and Test. You will see a success message if your setting is correct. If it fails, please go back and double check your settings. Click Complete. Now you can repeat the same steps and add more email accounts if you want. Sending mass emails through multiple email accounts can increase the inbox placement rate and deliverability of your email marketing campaign. Now close the Multi Account Manager window. You will see the main user interface of One in One Mail. The next step is to add email addresses or import contact lists into One in One Mail. Open Address Book. Create a new book. And then create a new group. Select the new group. Click New Address to add the details of a new contact. Or you can click the Import button and select the file you want to import. One in One Mail supports several file formats including text, CSV, and Microsoft Excel files. After you open the file, One in One Mail will automatically analyze the file and match the fields in your file to the program. If you find certain fields in your file are not matched correctly, you can double click that field and select the field you want to map it to in the program. In this case, the URL column in your file will be mapped to the website field in the program. Click Import after everything is set. Now you're ready to send out your first email marketing campaign. Click the New Task button. Select the group of recipients from the drop-down menu and then select the sender. For email body, you can load email templates from the system database. To personalize each email, you can add macro text into the email. One in One Mail will automatically replace the macro text by each recipient's information when the email is sent out. When your customers see their name in the email, they are more likely to read it and thus more likely to respond. Should you find an email template on another website that you'd like to use with One in One Mail, you can easily import it by first selecting Download Web Page and then copying and pasting the URL, then clicking Download. That email template is now ready to use on One in One Mail. You can modify the template further by clicking the Edit button. Next, add attachment if you have any. Last but not least, you can send a few test emails to yourself and see if the email shows up correctly. We recommend sending to a couple of email types such as Gmail, Yahoo, or even to your corporate Outlook account so you can ensure the format works for all types. When everything is ready, click the Send button. 
In the status window, it will show you the progress of the task. When the task is finished, you can view the report by right-clicking the task and selecting Task Log. You can double-check if your email reaches each recipient successfully. You can also export or clean up the invalid or bounce-back email addresses in order to keep your client database healthy and up-to-date.